Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to use eMaze presentations with this tutorial. It is considered one of the best alternatives to PowerPoint and Prezi, and after using it, I firmly believe that. So when you open up your browser, you're just going to go up to your search bar, and I usually just go to Google, and when you get there, just type in eMaze presentations. It's the first thing that shows up. I am already logged in, but creating an account is free and easy. So, this is what page will show up if you are not logged in yet. It says start now, it's free. You could either sign up or log in. So just enter any valid email address and you will get in right away. Any password. And there you go. So I already have two presentations that I, you know, sort of threw together for the students when I presented it to them. But first I will go to the explore bar. And as you can see, there are a ton of different presentations already made. And the great thing about this kind of tool is that because it is made online, because you're making your presentations online, um, it's very easy to share them with anybody else who has an account. So, click on one example of a presentation that somebody threw together. And this guy is taking a superhero and exploring physics um, through his powers with his presentation. So this is a bulletin board template. Um, as you zoom out, you'll see how that makes sense. But you just go through the different slides as you're presenting and it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is meant to be a bulletin board. Um, it's very easy to put together. I'll show you two examples of templates that I thought were most useful for my students considering what their presentation was going to be about. And one more cool thing about other people's presentations is if you like what they did but you want to do something different with it, you can edit it yourself, you can download it, um, so you can basically take what somebody else did and play around with it. So you can add a slide, um, you can add text, you can add images, you know, just everything he did is already put together for you, but if you want to manipulate that, as long as you give him credit, you know, it's just cool. So, you can save it when you're done, and then you can share it with Facebook, Twitter, pretty much anything. And um, like I said, if you give the guy credit, I'm sure he'd be happy to have what he did shared with the world. So it's just a really awesome tool. But now I'm going to actually show you how to put one together. So I will click on the example that I did for my students. This is a newspaper template. And you have four different options as far as what kind of newspaper you want it to look like. So I'm going to click on the edit tool. Anything you want to download, print, share, translate, there will be a square in the top right corner with three lines. Just click on that and it'll give you your options. So now this is the example I threw together for the IB students. They read the things they carried, a war novel about Vietnam, and I just thought about how they should, you know, find different ways to present their information instead of just, you know, saying this is what happened in the novel or the chapter, this is what, you know, this is who my character is and what he's like. You know, I thought there could be different ways to stand there and give that information to the class. So, with the newspaper template, I said, why don't you try presenting this as if you're a news reporter investigating the events of what's going on in this particular chapter. So, this is the headline of the newspaper, and if you just do text, you could do title, subtitle text. I did title. Click on it. You can easily edit it. Just change the title around if you want. You can add a picture by doing images. Click on image. You could either browse from the files already saved on your computer, or you could just paste an image URL 
and really easy to manipulate. You can move the picture wherever you want and you can move the text wherever you want as well. If you click on the text box it'll give you a bunch of different options. Um, if you want to edit the size, you know, the text alignment, whether it should be in bold or underlined or anything like that. So now as we go to the next slide, zooms out, goes into the next one. Again, there's a title, there's text where you would put, you know, what the article is about. If you want to add a slide, you go up to the top left corner and there's multiple different options as to what format you want to use. And if you want to create your own, there's a blank slide as well. Now, trying to make it relevant to the students again, as I was presenting this example to them, I came up with different, you know, ideas. And one of the templates was a chart. So I just took a stock, you know, bar graph and changed the title of it to make it relevant. So maybe a reporter is reporting on the total deaths in Vietnam and that ties into their chapter somehow. So again, just it's a really cool way to present the information and show them that show the teacher that they know what they're talking about without just reading off of a note card and having like one picture with a caption. So that is one example of a template that they can use. So if you're ready to save the presentation, you just click save and you can come back to it at any time. And then you can just exit out of the tab that your template is on. And before I exit out of this template, I just want to say that if you want to change the format or the theme of your newspaper, you could easily do that. Just click on themes. And if you don't want to do the daily news, you want to do like the street journal, click on that and it'll instantly change the theme of your paper. If you want to do the post standard, you know, this the differences are subtle, but as you zoom out of it, you'll be able to see how it's a little different. So, done with the newspaper template, save it. Once it's saved, you can exit out of it. And now, this is another popular template that I use for my students. This is an art gallery template. And all of, all of the templates will be right here if you click on create new presentation. So there's an investor pitch, you could do a tutorial, you could do a timeline biography, a business plan, high tech, technology, a finance presentation, or a resume. There's just a lot of different cool things that you can do. And the other one that I showed my students, and they were free to use any option that they wanted, but as far as what I wanted to show them, I clicked on art gallery. And the newspaper template would have been used if they wanted to analyze a chapter from this story and wrote, you know, report on the events. But for the art gallery, I suggested doing more of a character focused study and just act as if you're walking through the life of a character by means of an art gallery or a museum tour. So again, this is a blank template now, not something that I threw together, but just to show you from scratch, you have the first slide ready for you, but of course you can edit it however you want, click on the text change the size, font, color. You can get rid of the picture if you want, just delete it. And anything you do, you can undo. So go to the top left, add a slide. Maybe I want just a bunch of pictures, a bunch of pictures of symbols that symbolize the character. And one thing that is also cool is that you're not just going from slide to slide. As you can see, it is a virtual 3D tour of this art gallery, so very visually engaging to the audience. If you want to have sections, you go to the top left again, and you can just name different sections of your PowerPoint. So maybe this is the symbolism portion. Add a couple more slides so you can see just the ways in which you move through the gallery. If you want to add media, you could easily select a video or audio file or widgets from the web, add them. It's just very visually engrossing. And yeah, so very easy to use. Rename it.
things I carried. Saved. Exit. And if I want to share those, I can share it, and I have no shared presentations, but if I wanted to share it, I could, and then they would end up here, and people could see them. If they like what they see, they can share it on social media, get my presentation out there. Other people can use it for inspiration or as an example. And there's just a lot of different methods in which you can present this information, and I think that this was very important to show them because they were able to get inside the mind of this a different way of doing things. So that is it. When you are done, you could log out. And there you go. Another option for your students to present analysis and depth of thought that isn't just standing there and clicking through a few slides.